Hey, what's up guys? It's Turtle Freethan here, and today I'll be giving you guys nerf loadouts for under $75. So, it's been a while since my last loadouts video, but you guys do enjoy this series so much. I know the last loadouts video I did, like, practically blew up. I think it's at, like, 500,000, and the one before that did really good as well. So, let me know what you think of it, and I'm constantly trying to improve, like, the quality of these videos. So, if you do enjoy this one, or you just enjoy loadouts in general, make sure to smash that like button. And let me know also in the comments below a new price range for the next loadouts video and I'll definitely make it happen. And if you see a price range that is already listed in the comments, just make sure to like thumbs up that comment as well so then I'll know which ones you guys want to see next. But yeah, as always I won't be going over tax because that does vary depending on where you live and it kind of just complicates things so I don't really mess with that at all. And also these loadouts aren't meant to be like super practical. I mean. They're just more fun, and they're meant to kind of inspire you to create your own loadout. So hopefully, after watching this video, you'll take away some ideas, maybe to create your own loadout. And it's always just a fun series. It's kind of for me to show some stuff off to you guys, and kind of just give you guys some new ideas coming out. Alright guys, so our first loadout is going to be called the Sniper 6. And basically, it's a sniper rifle, and it has like all these six round things based around it. So the Core Blaster is going to be the Raptor Strike. This is one of my favorite nerf sniper rifles. I think it's a really cool gun, and it's really hard to kind of be like a sniper in nerf if you're not using modified blasters, but I mean, this is the closest thing that they have to a sniper rifle in nerf, and they do brand it as a sniper rifle, but it's a great blaster. It has two six round magazines that's included, and it's $30 on walmart.com and Amazon, and it's a bolt action sniper, if you don't know, just like that. And yeah, pretty cool blaster. And then we have the bandolier. And no matter how I wear the bandolier, it always looks cringy, but whatever. And I have two six round magazines. So if I do need to reload, then I can just take it out of here. And I also do have a six round magazine that's included with the Raptor Strike in the back. And then these six round magazines are 750, I believe on light take. And then this bandolier is gonna be $20 at Toys R Us. And as of the time of this recording, Toys R Us is not closed yet. They're doing like liquidation sales. So the bandolier might even be cheaper, but as of right now, Toys R Us is not closed yet. So just be aware of that. And then you can't see it, but I'll put a little view of it. Down here, I have a holster and this holster is a strong arm. And I'll just lay the Raptor Strike beside. And then inside the holster, I have a strong arm and strong arm is another six round blaster. Pretty cool blaster and it has a spinning six round cylinder and just like that. Really great blaster, also has slam fire. And yeah, and the holster is really cool as well. It fits the strong arm really nicely and it just buckles around your leg and also holds extra darts on the side of it. And the bandolier also holds extra darts as well. And the total of this loadout comes to $73.65. The strong arm is gonna be $12.99 on amazon.com. And then the holster is $350 on lighttake.com or nfstrike.com. And if you don't know what those things are, lighttake kind of just sells third party nerf items and they're a pretty cool site. Um, shipping does take a while, and I do have a whole video about them if you want to check it out. Link will be down below in the description. But yeah, let's move on to the next loadout. Alright, so this next loadout is going to be called the Multiplayer. And I think, I, it took me a while to come up with that name, but I really like the name. Mostly because all of these blasters that I'm holding right now, it's the Tri-Strike and the Dual Strike, they both actually can fire different types of ammo. And that's kind of why it's called the Multiplayer. So, Kind of cool name there, and I really like this loadout a lot. So first of all, our main blaster is going to be the Nerf Modulus Tri-Strike. A great blaster, it, ha it fires Mega Darts, and it fires a missile, and it also has a magazine that fires regular Elite Darts. And it all works pretty well, it's a bolt action gun as well as pump, and it has a hamp back here to fire your missile. And then we have the Dual Strike, which is also a really cool blaster. Basically, if you want to fire Elite Darts, which are these three barrels at the top, then you just make sure your little switch is set to elite and pull back and fire. And then you have mega down there. So pretty cool there. And then of course, and then of course we have the bandolier in the middle. And something I didn't mention in the last loadout was that the bandolier actually comes with um, two magazines and darts. So it comes with two six round magazines and extra darts. So the darts can be used for your dual strike. And then the magazines can be used for your tri-strike. 
and you can also holster a different blaster if you need to and that's the great thing about the bandolier so the tri strike in this loadout is going to be 37 dollars and then the dual strike is going to be 18 dollars and the bandolier of course is going to be 20 dollars and that's all going to add up to be 74.97 so the price is really cutting it close to 75 dollars but yeah let's move on to the next loadout okay so this next loadout is called tactical impact and this one is based around the desolator which is one of my favorite semi-auto blasters right next to the strife and then you'll probably already notice that there's a tactical flashlight and that kind of makes you feel all tactical or whatever and credit to Coop for inventing that term I guess I find it funny that I have to give him credit every time I say that but if I don't all the Coop fanboys just go after me so I have to be careful I'll even leave a link to his channel down below in the description just because I said the word tactical just to please all the Coop fans so I have the tactical flashlight which makes me feel tactical and it's a pretty cool attachment too. It's one of my favorite nerf attachments. It actually, if you turn it on, then it shines a little flashlight and it's pretty practical too if you're going for a night game or something like that. And the Desolator is a great semi-auto blaster. It comes with a 10 round magazine. And then also in the loadout you have two 18 round magazines from Light Take. And then you'll notice that one of them does have a little men gun um, magazine cover. I find this cover really cool. I think it makes blasters just look a lot more tactical. I should stop using that word, but I think it makes the blasters look really nice as well. And the black on black with the desolator really matches, and I think that's pretty cool. And these men gun things are like $5.70 on light take. It's also around $7 for two of these things, but I'm not going to be using two because that would bring the loadout cost over $75. But these 18 round magazines are just as good quality as the regular Nerf branded 18 round magazines. And I did do a review of them before, so again, that video link will be in the description below. And these 18 round magazines are really great. They don't weigh down your blaster too much, and they look really cool as well. And then the next part of the loadout is gonna be the pistol, and I'm rocking a hammer shot, and this is like a heavily modified one, so. There's a regular picture of it if you want to see it. This one does have like a metal hammer and can remove the cylinder. But yeah, Hammer Shot is a great blaster. I think it's $16 on Amazon. And then I'm rocking the leg holster or the leg pouch, whatever you want to call it, from Light Take. And it's a great pouch. It also carries darts, as I mentioned before. I like this loadout a lot. I don't know if I mentioned this, but the Desolator is $30 at Target and pretty much everywhere else. And then the Tactical Flashlight is $8 on Hasbro.com. And the whole loadout is gonna come out to be $74.31. So yeah, this is the Tactical Impact loadout. Okay, so this next loadout is called the Heavy Gunner. And as you can probably already tell, the base blaster is the Hyperfire. And this is a great blaster. It's motorized and it does need batteries. And I didn't include that in the cost but the Hyperfire is $43.20 on Target.com and then basically it shoots five darts per second if you don't already know. It's a pretty fast firing blaster that comes with a 25 round drum and this loadout is pretty much if you want to play like the heavy gunner or like support role and then if you can see in my other hand I do have a triad just as a small backup pistol and it holds three shots and it pretty much fits in most pockets. It fits in my jeans if I need to but you can't really see it but great blaster. And then also in the loadout, I have two 22 round worker magazines. And on light take for two of these, it's $21.22. And I absolutely love these magazines. They do look pretty good in the hyper fire as well. And if you didn't hear it earlier, these things hold 22 rounds and they're really high quality as well. I think they have even better springs inside of them than Nerf. I think they also come in black and also like an opaque version of black. The downside to having those worker 22 round mags is that they don't come with darts. So while you're on light take, you might as well get the light take 100 dart pack, which costs $2.22, which is pretty cheap. That will fill up your magazines pretty fast. And then I didn't mention this, but the triad is going to be $6.96, around $7. And that whole loadout comes out to be $73.67. So this last loadout is probably going to please the most amount of people. And this one's going to be called the Rival Runner. And as you can already tell, the core blaster is going to be the Artemis. This is a great blaster. It's my second favorite rival blaster right next to the other blaster in this loadout. And you can probably already guess what the other blaster is. But the Artemis is a pump action springer and it has an internal 30 round magazine. Great blaster. Ignore that there's different colors of rival rounds in here. But 
Great blaster. I really like this one a lot. It's a great rival Springer. And as our secondary for the rival runner, we're gonna be using the Kronos. So the Kronos is my favorite rival blaster of all time. I've wanted a rival pistol for so long and it took them a while to make it, but they finally did. It's a nice lightweight blaster, perfect weight and size. The Kronos has a five round internal magazine and I'm not gonna show it to you guys right now because this Kronos does have a K26 and I don't wanna dry fire because I don't have anything in here yet. And then housing the Kronos is gonna be our leg pouch. I absolutely love this leg pouch. If you can't already tell, I've used it in like three of the loadouts already but I mean it's a great way to hold your blasters so the Kronos is $17.09 I think at Walmart and Target and the Artemis is gonna be $44.99 at Target and pretty much everywhere else and then the leg pouch is $3.50 and if you're doing the math that's gonna come out to like around $65 and you're probably wondering what to do with that other $10 and I'm pretty much gonna leave this one up to you because there's so many different ways you could go. You could buy extra rival ammo, you could buy a dump pouch, you could buy a sling to sling your Artemis. There's just so many different ways I could go with this. It's just crazy if I pick just one of them. So let me know what you guys think. I'll leave a poll in the top right hand corner if you wanna vote on what you think the last part of this loadout should be. And it makes it a little bit fun too for this video. And yeah, so that's gonna be our last loadout of the video. I really enjoy making these loadouts videos. Again, let me know what you think the next loadouts video should be in the comments section below. And I've got so many other videos planned for this summer, so let me know if you're hyped. And yeah, that's gonna be all for the video. Remember to leave a like, type comment, and shoot that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, remember to turn up that volume. I'll see you guys later.